Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about OpenAI's latest feature called GPTs. Now these are custom versions of ChatGPT that include instructions, extra knowledge bases, and other skills or prompts that together combine and work towards a specific task. Now you do need a paid version of ChatGPT or GPT Plus to access these custom GPTs and you can access them right here by clicking on this button called Explore. Here you can see all the custom GPTs made by OpenAI and available for you to try. I am going to test out one of these today. You can also create your own custom GPT and provide it all kinds of instructions and prompts and data. And I'm going to show this to you in a future video. Now, after someone has created their own custom GPT, they can actually share that as a link. And I have this website called allgpts.co where we have custom GPTs built by people all over the world who have publicly shared this for anybody to try. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, I wanna welcome you and recommend you to subscribe to my AI newsletter. I'm going to have a bunch of tutorials coming out both on text and on video for you to check out. All right, let's get started. So the GPT I'm going to try out today is called Gen Z for Meme, and it helps you understand the lingo and latest memes in the Gen Z world. So if you're an oldish person, maybe born before 1980, you might not understand some of the terms used by the Gen Z. So I'm going to provide this GPT with some examples for you to understand how they are used in different sentences. So for that, I'm just going to click on it right here. And here we have a bunch of examples. For example, what does yeet mean? So here we have yeet is basically a way to express excitement or to let people know you just tossed something with all your might. What does rising mean? Okay, rizzing is the Gen Z way of saying someone's got game, like they have got charm or mojo working for them when they're trying to impress someone they're into. Use it in a sentence. Yo, did you see how Jay was talking to Sam at the lunch table? Homie was rizzing hard and it totally looked like it was working. Generate an image of how rizzing would look like. Now, as you might know, ChatGPT itself does have the ability to generate images, but this is a custom GPT, which does not seem to have that ability. And I'm actually gonna copy this whole image prompt described right here and use a different custom GPT to generate that image. And here I have this one called Dolly, which lets me turn my imagination into imagery. All right, now I have a pretty nice image of what rizzing might look like in a visual form. All right, now I'm gonna go to this website called allgpts.co and try out a custom GPT which has been submitted publicly. So I'm gonna try out this one called GIFPT, which is a play on the word GPT, which is pretty cool. It's a design guru and programming virtuoso, creates dynamic GIFs using DALI for sprite sheets with a coding twist for slicing and animation. To get started, I'm gonna try out one of their examples, which is an evil goblin. Now it starts with generating an image and now it's working on some code that I can watch live as it turns that image into a GIF. All right, there we have it. The animated GIF of an evil goblin's walk has been created. It has this link called download the GIF. And just like that, we have a GIF of an evil goblin generated just using some text. All right, now I'm gonna try out this option where I can upload a starting image as a style seed and it's gonna generate a GIF based on that. So why not use this image of this guy rizzing right here and download this away on my computer. I'm gonna drag that image right here. Then I'm gonna say generate a GIF using this image. And maybe to add some more details, say, make the guy wink. All right, it has received the image and it's starting to write the code. I like how it actually talks through the issues it's having. It says, since we can't manipulate real people's images directly, we need to create a wink effect on the stylized character. We'll create a simple animation where the character blinks one eye to create the winking effect. 
I'm actually pretty impressed on how seriously it took this part of my prompt and actually trying to work with it. Now, if you were wondering what's the difference between using a custom GPT versus using just a plugin, here's the difference. When there are errors that show up, the custom GPT actually automatically tries to solve it and fix it. Even if it faces some issues like these, you can regenerate and try this again, which I'm going to try. I just clicked regenerate to see if it works or else I'm going to try the same prompt without this additional action of making the guy wink. It says the image you provided appears to be a single static image, not a sprite sheet. To create a winking animation, I'll need to transform this image into a sprite sheet first with multiple frames. Basically, it wants to break down this image into different kinds of blocks so it can focus in on this eye and try to generate that winking action. It's actually walking me through all the attempts it's doing. It says I'll design a sequence of frames where the character progresses from the current expression to a wink and then back to the original expression to create a seamless looping animation. This will involve drawing the character with a series of eye positions leading to a wink. After this, I'll proceed to make a GIF out of it. All right, it has now presented me with the sprite sheet where that same character that I provided in my image has different positions of eyes, so it can provide that winking action. Right, it got stuck again. This time the response was slightly better than the last one, so I'm gonna click better and try regenerating again. This time it says, since we can't actually close the eyes of the person in the image, we'll simulate the wink by slightly editing the image. So it's doing some live editing this time and trying to change that image itself instead of trying to convert it into a sprite sheet. So regardless of if this does work out or not, you can see how a GPT is significantly different than a plugin. The same task of generating a GIF from this image and making the guy wink has been attempted three times in three different ways completely autonomously without me having to provide it multiple prompts at a time. All right, this time it says the GIF has been created. You can download the GIF right here. I'm gonna click on that. All right, this doesn't seem to have completely worked. There's a small position right here, which is winking, but I don't think it really got to that eye. It says, if you'd like me to refine the GIF, we can try manual debug mode, but this time I'm gonna reduce the complexity of it and just say generate a GIF using that image. It says the GIF has already been generated. I'm I'm gonna say skip the winking. Could you specify what kind of animation or action you would like the character to have? I'm gonna say dancing. All right, this time it provided me a much simplistic version of that sprite sheet where we have that character in a more cartoonish form with different kinds of actions with their hands and feet as if he's dancing. All right, it says the dancing animation has been created. I'm gonna click on that. We have a different version of that GIF. At least this time the character is dancing and moving around. I think there's still some issues in the actual GIF because I'm supposed to have all these actions in the central frame with the single character in the middle, but that's the best I could do right now. But hopefully you got a good idea of how these GPTs work. The ones which are submitted on this website haven't actually been approved by ChatGPT or OpenAI. They are just public submissions. So they might have some issues like you saw in the one I tested. So don't expect all of these to be perfect because these haven't actually gone through any kind of real testing. These are just people playing around or maybe some good prompters have tried out different GPTs and they have just submitted it on their website. But I recommend you to try out and create your own GPTs and I'm going to have a future video coming up on how to create your own custom GPT using this functionality right here in a future video. But hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it and want to see how to create a new GPT starting from scratch in my next video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my AI newsletter. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.